I'm John Peterson, owner of a second generation metal fabrication business called Shooty Metals. We've been stamping our products and services made in the USA since 1957. My brother and I purchased the business from my uncles almost 38 years ago. What was a 12 person shop has now grown into a company employing 165 people today. Like most companies that are successful over the long run, we had to reinvent ourselves as the market changed. Six years ago, we invested heavily in our business, just as a great recession appeared. Barack Obama and Joe Biden, two career politicians who knew nothing about business, couldn't get the government out of our way, and it put our business in a tailspin. Sadly, we were forced to make decisions, which included cutting staff a torturous experience when our employees are like family. The Obama-Biden era banking regulations left us no choice. It tied our lenders' hands and it deprived us of the lifeblood of our business, capital. We scratched and we clawed for two years and then everything changed. Donald Trump was elected president and he knew what it was like to build a company and create jobs. One of the first things he did was to cut red tape and put an end to draconian type banking regulations. He also cut taxes on small businesses, allowing us to be more competitive both domestically and internationally. In fact, we increased revenues by 25% for two years in a row. By getting rid of the job killing NAFTA and negotiating the US-Mexican-Canada trade agreement, President Trump ensured a more competitive playing field for American companies. Even with all the challenges presented by the coronavirus, President Trump is rebuilding and our economy is roaring back again. But when I hear that Joe Biden is ready to raise taxes, crush us with regulations and weaken our international trade position, I shudder. We simply cannot endure a Biden-induced recession. Some will struggle, some will not survive, and working men and women of America will get crushed yet again. This is not time to hand our government over to a washed up career politician who will be nothing but a puppet of the radical left Democrats. As a lifelong resident of Wisconsin, I'm a fan of the Badger football team. Many may not realize that the Wisconsin Badgers and the president share three common qualities. They are smart, they're tough, and they're dependable. As a businessman, I can tell you that those qualities we need in our country's leader, and that's why we need to reelect Donald J. Trump. Thank you, and God bless America.